In this video, I want to show you how to install and run Windows 10 on your macOS computer. I am doing this here on macOS Catalina. You have four easy steps to do this. Download and install VirtualBox, download Windows 10 ISO, or get your Windows 10 ISO if you already have it, create VM and install Windows 10, and then you have some post-installation configurations to do. So let's start with step one, which is download and install VirtualBox. On your macOS computer, launch Safari and go to virtualbox.org. In virtualbox.org, click on the download button. If you don't see it in the middle of the screen, just choose it on the left and then click OS X hosts and then click allow. The download starts as you see on the top right corner of your Safari window. Wait for it to finish and then click the arrow also on the top right corner of your Safari window or go to the downloads folder. So click the arrow and double click virtual box. When you double click virtual box, it starts expanding the file. I'm going to minimize Safari here. So it's opening the TMG file. And when it is open, double click on virtualbox.package in the window, as you see. Click on continue. And then click continue once again. Choose install and you will be prompted to enter your password. So here, enter the password of your macOS computer. On the first installation attempt, it might fail because some system extensions will be blocked. So open security preferences, as you see here, and you need to allow the system extension of Oracle VirtualBox. So click on the lock, put your password, and click unblock. And then here you see system software from developer Oracle America. Click allow next to it and then close this one. And then click on close on the installation. Click on keep and retry the installation. And this time it will work. Continue and then click continue again. Click install. Put your password once again. And the installation will succeed this time. As you see here, the installation was successful. Now click on move to trash because we don't need the installation program anymore. So let's start VirtualBox to see it. I'm clicking here on the finder and then click on applications, scroll down and here we see VirtualBox. Just double click it. And VirtualBox now is ready to create Windows 10 machine. Step two now is to download the Windows 10 ISO if you don't have it. If you have it, just copy it to your macOS computer. Here I'm going to show you how to download it. So open Safari, open a new tab, and go to microsoft.com slash software dash download. Click on Windows 10. Click on Select Edition and select Windows 10 and then click on Confirm. And then here, click on to choose the language. So click English or choose the language that you want. Click on Confirm. And then here, I'm going to download the 64-bit version. So click on 64-bit or 32-bit if you want to install the 32-bit version. Click Allow and the download will begin. It's a pretty big download. It's 5.7 gigabyte. So I'm going to accelerate the video and come back when the download finishes. And here the download finished. So step three is to create a VM and install Windows 10. So I'm going to open VirtualBox now. And within VirtualBox, click on New. Name the VM Windows 10 or whatever you want. Here I'm going to name it Windows 10. 
and you see virtual box automatically selected the version here on Windows 10 64 bit. If you have another version, of course, choose the one you have, 32 bit or something. Click on continue, and here I am giving the virtual machine a little bit more RAM because my host allows it. It has 8 gigabyte. So I'm going to give it 3 gigabyte and then click on continue. Create a virtual hard disk, keep it selected, and then click on create. And I'm going to keep it on virtual box disk image and click continue. Keep dynamically allocated, click continue, and then click on create. 50 gigabyte is good, so keep it at 50 gigabyte. And here we need to click on settings to attach the ISO file to the Windows 10 machine. So click on storage and settings and then click on the plus to add a data file. Then click on add and here browse to the download where you downloaded your ISO file, Windows ISO file, select it and click open and then select it under not attached, select it and then click on choose. Now you have it attached to your VM. And now we need to start the VM. So make sure it is selected and then click on the start button. The VM will start and it will start from the ISO file. So the installation will begin automatically. Click on capture if prompted. This is to capture the mouse and the keyboard into the virtual machine. And the setup will continue. So this is the Windows 10 setup. Choose the language you want. Here I'm going to keep it on English United States and then click install now. So now the setup is starting. You can activate Windows later from settings. So keep it empty here for the key and then click I don't have product key. And here make sure you choose the version of Windows that you have a product key for so that you can activate it later. I chose Windows 10 Home. Click Next. Click Accept the License Term. You need to choose Custom Install here because it's a new hard disk. We don't have any version of Windows to upgrade. And then the disk will be selected automatically. And then click on Next. And the installation will start. Of course, here I accelerated the video. The installation shouldn't take long if your machine is powerful enough. And now it prompts you to restart. So just click restart now and it will restart. And now it's restarting from the hard disk and it's getting Windows ready. So this is a normal Windows installation. I'm going to walk you through it anyways. It restarts once again. Just wait for it. And here, as you see, Cortana started. And then here also choose your language, the keyboard layout. I don't have another keyboard layout, so I'm going to keep it on US. And this is Windows setting up. At this stage, I'm not going to choose to install the update feature. So I'm going to click skip for now. It can be installed later with automatic updates. And here you can log in with your Outlook account. So here I'm going to put my Outlook account and then click on Next. And put your password. And then click on Next again. And Windows Setup will continue. Click Create a PIN and put a PIN. This is faster to log in instead of the password. And then click on OK. Here I'm going to skip the phone configuration option. So I'm going to click on Do it later. And Windows Setup will continue. And then here also I'm going to choose only save files to this PC. And here choose the settings you want. I always like to turn off all the settings. And this is Windows 10 started. On first start, it will ask you about the network. I always choose yes, so that 
the PC will be discoverable on the network if I want to access it. Of course, feel free to choose the option you want. And this is Windows 10 started, as you see, within my Mac OS computer. I'm going to shut it down now, and I'm going to show you some configurations that you need to do after the installation. So wait for it to shut down. And close VirtualBox. So this is step four, post-installation configuration. As I said, you have to close VirtualBox. I'm going to close it now. And then go to Settings, System Preferences. And then click on Security and Privacy. Unlock it by clicking the lock on the bottom. Put your password and click Unlock. And then scroll down to Accessibility first. And then check VirtualBox. And then click on Input Monitoring. And then check VirtualBox VM. This will allow you to use your mouse and keyboard in VirtualBox seamlessly. And then close everything. Let me start now Windows 10 once again to show you how it starts from VirtualBox. So this is a clean start. And as you see, it will start, and I'm going to log in, and I won't have any error messages from VirtualBox or from macOS. That was it. I hope you found my video helpful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.